Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tefs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is an LG 46 inches smart TV. Model 43 UP 7550 PSF. It turns on, the backlight illuminated but no image appears on the screen. I'll show you how to fix it. If you are new to this channel and you find it informative, so make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. So let's get started. The TV has no image so let's check the VGH and the other voltages. The timing control is incorporated into the main board. This capacitor is the VGH filter supply. So let's measure the VGH there. No voltage was measured. Let's remove the number 1 plat wire going to the panel. And try it again. We have a voltage now of 34.8 volts. But still no image appears. But the VGH has a voltage now if the number 1 plat wire is disconnected, it means that the number 1 plat wire going to the panel has a problem. These are the CKV lines of the number 1 side of the panel and these are the CKV lines of the number 2 side of the panel. So we will disconnect the CKV line here at the number 1 side of the panel which has the problem. We will use a sheet of paper to block all the CKV lines. Cut it with the exact size of all the CKV lines, for correction it includes the LC1 and LC2 or the VGH odd and even. Now let's try it. Still no VGH voltage. We are expecting that the VGH will turn on if the CKV line and the LC1 and 2 are disconnected. So the CKV lines are not the problem. <laughs> Let's move the paper to the other lines, to the side of the CKV lines. Let's try it again. Still, the VGH is not turning on. Let's move the paper again to the left a little bit.
still no VGH voltage. Let's move again to the left. Let's try it again. The VGH voltage is turning on now. But we still don't have an image. The short circuit line is somewhere here in this area. Let's remove the paper and test some of the lines, then test the line in continuity mode. Beep means the possible short circuit. Insert the plat wire while the test probe is tapped to the line that expecting a shorted line. Seems we found the shorted line. We don't know what that line is, it is probably a supply line. The shorted line is on the side of the panel. Let's clip the negative probe onto the ground. Test the capacitors. A short circuit component is usually a capacitor, hoping not the COF. Some of the capacitor tests are shorted because some of them are connected in parallel. You can identify the shorted capacitor if it has a crack on it, a discoloration, or burnt. But I don't see any signs of them. This is my converter charger 6 amperes transformer, sounds low tech but it is effective for injecting voltage into a short circuit. It's set to 3 volts only. Let's inject it into the shorted capacitor, the shorted capacitor will heat up if it is shorted. The injecting current is about 3.5 amperes.
Seems we just killed the short circuit. The short circuit line now measured 282 ohms. We don't want to remove the short circuit by injecting voltage to the short circuit. We cannot find it now because the short circuit is gone, and we don't know what component the short it is. It is possible that the short circuit will come back. Let's see if the image appears now. We have an image now. The voltage of the shorted line is 1.8 volts. We injected 3 volts but did not damage it. It was not in operation when we made the injection which may be why it is not damaged. A few moments later The TV now is working great We fixed the TV in the wrong way But it is still a successful fix And I hope the short circuit will not come back Thanks for watching I hope you learned something from this video you can help this channel by liking and subscribing. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. Once again I'm Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.